Right then, in this step, what we're going to look at is how you batch render to video in Maya 2016. So, in order to do that, we're just going to go straight into the render settings window. And the thing that we need to change to get video out of this instead of still frames is the image format. So we're going to change that away from Targa, and we're going to go for AVI. If you're using a Mac, you're probably going to choose QuickTime. But I'm on Windows today, so it'll be AVI. Give that a click. And then the option it gives you is compression. So we're going to click on that. And for me, it's important that the compressor I use is four frames. Uh, you can, if you want to, choose any of these compression methods. You may have more or less than I have installed on your system. But what I would say is that AVI compression tends to be shocking. Uh, so if you don't, if you can afford the storage, if you've got somewhere to save a large AVI file to, try and avoid compressing it. If you've got no choice, have a play with the compression, see if you can get something you like. If you get something that does look nice, then drop me an email because I'm always willing to learn. If there is, you know, some good AVI compression out there, it'd be useful for me to know. Um, but once you've set that, you're basically good to go. So we'll click on OK. Make sure you start and end frames are set. Um, again, it might be worth doing a test render of 10 frames before you render out the whole thing to make sure that you're happy with the video quality you're getting. Um, and then click on close and to render out as video, click on render and batch render. And when it's finished, this will drop your AVI file into your images folder of your project, just like it would if it was still images. Okay, so that brings us to the end of my animation tutorial. I hope you found it useful. If you have, then by all means leave a comment in the comments section below and let me know. If you've created something that looks really nice, send me a copy of it. I do like to see those things. If you want to continue learning animation, then you can check out my tutorial on using motion paths. And that link should be on screen now. Hey. Or if you want to learn about the theory underlying 3D animation and 3D graphics in general, then have a look at the playlist I've created on those, which you can go by following the link here. Or, or in the description below, of course. If you've made it to the end of the video, then I can only assume that you've liked it. If that is the case, then please hit that like button. It does help me out. It helps other people to find these videos. Uh, and hopefully it helps me get to the top of the, uh, the YouTube search rankings as well. Yes, bring it on. And that's it. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. And I will see you in my next tutorial video whenever the hell I get time to make it.